Hello everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and as you can see today we're going to be talking about some hearing protection um, from walkers and a pair from Axle. Welcome back everybody and like I said we're going to be talking about uh, a couple of pairs of headsets here. Uh, what you see here in front of you is uh, amplified hearing protection along with Bluetooth. So a lot of your companies that are making hearing protection for firearms are making some very good advancements uh, with technology to where you can now talk on your phone, listen to music, flip that off, flip the amplified hearing protection on and go out onto the range. Or if you want to leave the music playing, you have that option to leave the music playing and turning on the amplified hearing protection. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. Uh, I have had some questions around that. If you have the music up a little too loud, it will drown out uh, anybody trying to talk. Uh, so I've had that question asked because I have done a review video on the Axle Ghost Strike Extreme and the Walker's Razor XV. Okay. This is just adding in the rope hearing protection, as they're calling it, because it's just got a little rope, kind of like the axles, because I wanted to see how these compare with these. All right, this is kind of a, to me, I would say a step up from these. And then the next ones you have are the walkers. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get back here. So I can tell you what they're called. They are the walkers. Uh, what was it? Extreme. Silencers. They are called the silencers. Silencers BT and then just silencer. Silencer BT and just silencer. Uh, those are the ones that just go in each year, kind of like your AirPods and things like that. Uh, I have not uh, put my hands on those. Uh, but talking with Ken Scott from Provectus Group and Kevin Dixie with no other choice, uh, they absolutely love them. Uh, they really like them. Great sound quality just like the rest of them. So those are another option that are out there. Uh, I'll do another update video once I get my hands on those and actually wear them for a little bit. So again, I've done a review video on these two here. These are much different. I'm not... I'm going to have a link for each one of these on uh, or in the description below so you can go in and check out all the fine details. I'm not going to sit here and get into noise reduction decibels and this and that. And Cost wise you're running anywhere from $80 to $300 depending on what you go with. Uh, now Axle does uh, a, a um, mold where you can get them molded to your ears specifically. Uh, that's going to run you about $700. Okay, so just let you know what it is, kind of price rise. But staying within this range here with those uh, BT silencers uh, is you're looking anywhere from about a $90 to $300. And I mean, honestly, that's fair for what you're getting because about what you're paying for for these right here, uh, they're in the 80 to or 90 to I'd say 200 range is about what you're going to spend on some decent Bluetooth headsets. Um, and they even make these where it's just a Bluetooth headset. I've got a pair of those here with me uh, because I was at a gun store, got a little giddy because I had lost these. That's why it's taken so long to do the video from these uh, because I had lost them coming off my range and just couldn't find them. I got giddy at a gun store and found them, but they were the Bluetooth. Now again, each one of these, you can listen to uh, music, okay? All of these, you can listen to music, you can talk on the phone, um, turn it off, amplified hearing protection, or you can still listen to music while you're doing the amplified hearing protection. Just don't have the music up very loud, okay? Because if you have the music too loud, it'll drown out the person trying to talk. Uh, the next question that I had gotten asked about these is how do they work with you'll have to forgive me excuse me 
how do they work with over the ear hearing protection so the big earmuffs okay so you can get those from walkers they're amplified as well too now if you do the amplified then you can do these all right but these aren't going to work with just over the ear hearing protection because the microphones in fact so they all come with nice little so there's the rope all right you get your little plastic or i should say a little nylon back not nylon or like a waterproof bag so for those to go in and it's got a little pocket in them for your replacements on the uh foam ear pieces okay and then the axles they come a little zip case just kind of fold out right there walkers same thing they just kind of fold out all right now the bluetooth so you see you only got one side here that means these are just bluetooth they'll magnet right there now they're just bluetooth but you can use them as hearing protection they just don't go as amplified so if you want to save a little money just get bluetooth there you go they're just not amplified like what the others are so here's the others you see they don't they don't magnet because that's where your microphones are so you got one side for your Bluetooth, one side for your amplified hearing protection. All right. And same thing on these, okay. The microphones are actually on the earpiece itself. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a little small. That's where the microphone is. So you won't be able to use them unless you're using amplified over the ear hearing protection like you would get from walkers i'm pretty sure axles has some as well too um, now i've worn and used all three of these several times i've had them for a really really long time and i kind of like them all so it's really if i had to sit down and say out of all three, what do I like the best? I would have to go with these right here. So the walkers, all right, the rope, hearing protection, because um, Bluetooth and hearing protection, to me, is it's got the best sound quality. And don't get me wrong, these from walkers also have a great sound quality. Okay, the downside to these that I, I didn't like, uh, if you've ever used the old LG, Bluetooth headsets uh, that went around so it goes around your neck like this okay the thing is is this piece when you're running and gunning starts flipping and sliding and you get all turned around and it just feels awkward and then it starts pulling on one ear okay the other part is right here you see pull it out and then here is the retractor right here okay so where this sits right here on me is right about where i lean in for my rifle and what happens is is when i lean in for my rifle and i'll go ahead and show you it's in my ear and i lean into the rifle right there on the buttstock and rick all right you see how it yanks on it all right and it makes this popping noise in my ear that i cannot stand and then sometimes if i don't have them in the, in my ear tight enough It'll just rip them right out and that sucks especially when you have um, a lot of guys shooting rifles around you okay but i will say overall these are definitely the best sound quality because you can bluetooth when you bluetooth into your phone you've got an app that you can download to use with these and you can also use that app with the silencer bluetooth to control the different sound levels so you have uh clear voice um, you have frequency boost uh, let me look on the box here and see what the it was clear voice high frequency uh, universal high frequency power boost and clear voice uh, the clear voice all you're going to hear is just the person talking 
Okay, you don't get the squirrels and the birds and the wind and the rain and all that. You just get the person talking where with these, you don't have that option, okay? The universal is just universal. It's doing a little bit of everything. That's what will let you listen to the music while you're doing the amplified hearing protection. High frequency is just boosting everything up. Not just the person talking, but everything around you. Um, power boost is kind of the same thing, but not quite as loud as what the high frequency is. So some of the four different options you have there. Um, also with that app, you have a power down. So if you want them to make sure they're powered down, so like sometimes I'm bad about forgetting to flip, turn them off and the battery dies, you go put them in the next day and it's like, oh crap. Okay, so with these, you do have the Razer XV. You do have an option to set a power down, kind of like a sleep option you have with your TV. Uh, but I still use all of them. So I'm not saying, I will say I use these right here. So the walkers, the Rode Bluetooth, I do use those more than the others, but I keep the others for backup. So if I forget to turn the battery off or forget to turn them off and didn't charge them, usually I'll fall back to the axles. Okay, just cause I like the way they wear it with just that rope. Um, then if both are dead, then I fall back to these. And then if all three are dead, I got a pair of Walker Razor over the ear amplified I can fall back to as well. And all I gotta do is swap batteries out, which I usually have extra batteries. But I like all of them, but yes, this right here. So if I had to put, these are gonna be my top ones. So yes, the rope are going to be the top ones that I wear. Uh, the others are just a backup. But again, that does not mean they aren't good. Okay, you might go and get these and you might not like them at all and tell me I'm a freaking idiot. Okay, or you might get these and say, this, all right, everybody's different. Okay, I'm giving you my opinion. You know what they say about opinions, don't you? All right, opinions are like assholes. Everybody is one. Okay, so I'm just letting you know my personal opinion on it. I like these the best. Okay, but now I will say comfort level, both of them. All right, to me are a little more comfortable than the axles. Sound quality, gonna go to these. This doesn't mean that doesn't have a good sound quality. Now I will say the only thing with these, all right, with these, the axles, even just the uh, Bluetooth here, okay? When you wear them, they go behind your neck. So depending on where you're at, what kind of noise is going on around you, it is hard, I shouldn't say hard, it's, a little difficult for the person to hear you when you're talking on the phone. So what I've had to do is, depending on what I'm doing, I'll just run them up under my beard and have them hang here. But that way they can hear me pretty clear. So what I mean is like, uh, I wear these when I cut the range. And when people call, I'll turn the lawnmower off. But just cause me being outside, wind blowing, things like that, if it's back behind me, it's a little bit hard to hear. Where with these, the microphones, right here right and as you see it's right here it's not hanging out back here so that's just some of the pros and cons i mean go try them out okay try them out yourself all right walkers uh, give me a call i'm always pushing these in all of my classes so uh give me a call maybe you can hook me up I, i'm just missing I, I i really like the walkers they've really really got a good product the axles have a good product. You go find out what works for you. Find out what feels best for you. So I did. I looked at some of the reviews and stuff. They were fairly new when I got them. So there wasn't a lot out there. That's why I wanted to put this back out. Because I've done a review again with these. But wanted to kind of talk about these. And kind of let you know some of the comparison. And answer questions that I've gotten. So I hope this helps everybody. Please go out there and check them out. Uh, walkers gsm.com axle hearing protection i will have their links down in the description below so you can go in there and take a look and read a little bit more on the stats i wasn't going to waste a lot of time with that i feel we're all grown adults and can go and read because battery life's different the decibels are different not by much as far as when they start cutting out but i'm not going to get into all that i would just Stuff that you're not going to find in there about the music and the over the air and things like that. But if you do have questions about these that I didn't answer, okay, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to answer. 
any questions uh, that you have. Uh, if not, you know, I might point you over to the manufacturer and let you get in touch with them. Uh, while you're out there, uh, also go and check out all of our sponsors down in the description. Their websites are there. If you need some legal advice, we've got Sutter Law Firm. Okay, they'll help you out with some legal advice. Uh, if you need some personal training, okay, you don't have to be here in South Carolina. He's got online stuff. He's even got an app to help you with that on your phone. Uh, that is Get Right Personal Training. Uh, ask for Mickey Campbell. Tell him I sent you and he'll take care of you. If you need any welding work done, you want a grill, grill built, smoker, whatever, go check out Lyle Welding and Grading. All right, and then if you need some gunsmith work done, uh, reach out to my buddy Bob over there with UAG Custom Shop. All of their websites will be down below, uh, and their websites will have their contact information. And last but not least, uh, check out NoOtherChoice.com. All right, we're one of the first affiliates with them, and make sure you use code S C G S, like South Carolina Gun School S C G S, and the number five S C G S and the number five and you will get a discount off of clothing all right so a little sbr humor here uh, as well as hats um gear uh, eyes um uh, optics batteries flashlights whatever you need reach out if it's not if it's something you're looking for and it's not on his website reach out to him tell him tactical santa sent you and he will see what he can do for you and he'll help you out but again if you're going to order from him clothing or gear s c g s and the number five and you'll get a discount off of your order so again thank you to all of the sponsors thank you to everybody for watching i hope this helped answer some of your questions about these again sorry it took me so long to do the update video from the last review that i did but here you go it's right here for you links websites all that great information will be down below and don't forget folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range